Hey, good morning, everybody. Don Lachance here again in my beautiful backyard. Um, I, I wanted to share this morning uh, on, on vulnerability. I, I've been preaching about that a lot in the last uh, couple of months after really kind of getting in touch with it um, as a result of a Brene Brown video that I'd watched. And, um, you know, I, I, I don't consider uh, what I do here when I, I cut these little clips uh, as, as something inspirational. At, at least I haven't looked at it that way, but uh, I attended a family gathering yesterday and was, I guess, made fun of uh, about, you know, somebody wanting to, maybe if we were good yesterday, we could cut an inspirational video. And uh, it, it just got me thinking and I started I, I really did start to think like, wow, who, who do I think I am to be putting this information out there like that and cutting these clips and maybe they are inspirational. Uh, I hope they are. I hope some people get some real benefit out of some of the truth that I want to share here and um, in, in tying this back into my vulnerability, I, I started thinking, yeah, who do I think I am to maybe be putting these things out there like that and uh, I just thought about it a lot. I thought about it on my drive home. I thought about it last night before I fell asleep. I thought about it this morning as I was up in quiet time with my wife and just going through things and started uh, really kind of to, to doubt why I was even doing this. But you know what? I, I'm doing it because I'm recognizing. I'm recognizing the courage that it takes to step into that vulnerability. But the real magic isn't about my vulnerability. It's about the space that it's creating for other people to take off their mask and really be themselves, be real, be who they are. Maybe for the first time ever, look at a problem or something that they, they, they finally recognize as a problem and uh, that it's not insurmountable, that you can work through those challenges, you really can. Uh, you know, the first step in anything in regards to that is always going to be acknowledgement. And uh, the internal wrestle begins and that mind shift and all of it uh, until you get to the place of acceptance. Only then, you know, that's truly when people begin to migrate from living in their heads to really beginning to live in their hearts and uh, embracing their own vulnerability. Because as much as we want to affect and help people and talk to people, I don't think we can do it effectively until we really do step into our vulnerability. So I didn't want this to be a long rant on anything. I just wanted to kind of share that and how I felt. For someone who preaches and wants to teach on vulnerability, how susceptible I am to, uh, you know, even small comments, just positioned a certain way uh, to get me thinking well maybe I shouldn't be doing this well the fact is I just want to thank the person who really kind of kidded me about this yesterday and I'm going to continue to put these little clips out um, on that note I just want to wish you all a great day I want to take a minute too to thank all my US based friends who are celebrating Memorial Day today especially all of you who have served our country uh, well, when I say our country, it's really our world. Uh, it was so much bigger than just your borders. Uh, it, it's something that you've done, invested in self and man. Talk about stepping into vulnerability. There's a perfect example. So from the bottom of my heart, thanks to all of you who have served courageously, who continue to serve. So let me sign off. Have a great day, folks, unless you have other plans. Talk to you soon.